And we're back! Okay, everybody, we did a little bit of off-camera research to help abet us in this, uh, horrible <laughs> narrations puzzle. But yeah, it's one of those puzzles you just, you need to put pencil to pen and grind for like a half hour. Alright, but anyhow, I think we're about ready to take it on. So, in short, how does this go? Wait, um, you have the picture of Sonny's map on your phone. Yes, I do. Yeah, you gotta refer to that. <laughs> let, me, let me pull it up real quick. Back in the old days, we had to write down the map on paper. <laughs> yep, I probably still have those notebooks somewhere. <laughs> Today's kids. Okay, so we just need... Why is there no music? You're right. Where'd the music go? Uh... There it is. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was frightening. God. Okay, uh, let me just pull up the pictures from last week. Here we go. So we still need... Exhibits L, M, and N. So exhibit L is to your left when you walk into the museum. So go ahead and take a look at that one. Okay. Is it to the left or is it to the left? Yeah. There it is. So this exhibit is about ceramic bowls, such as the one ceramic bowls. Exhibit. Okay, so like it's good. L is good. And we have what this is black. Yes. Corn. Okay, next up we have M. That's to the left if you face the, the Pakal carving. So to the right, one forward, and to the left. This is about... Lady Zack Cook. Lady Zack Cook. Yep, that's right. mother. And finally, we just need N. Oh, we also need I. I is right across at the gods exhibit, if you wanted to enter that. Wait. That one in front of you. Oh, uh, in front of me. Wait, can I open this? It's can you? Locked. Maybe if we have a key. Do we have a key? This wouldn't work, would it? It's locked. Interesting. I'm afraid not. Okay. Maya gods. The Maya were pantheists. Yep. Yeah, that's right too. All right. Oh yeah. Good luck over here. And then finally, N. And the N exhibit is to the right. Go one forward and to the right. On the right. Okay. What do we have here? The Maya ball game was a religious activity. Mm, yeah. What the heck? That's uh, that's weird. Okay. Wait, this isn't randomly generated, is it? I don't think so. That's um. That was exceptionally lucky. So if you want to go over to the curatorial room now, we should be able to hook everything up. We'll do. I was just spectating the exhibits here. Okay, I'm gonna have a sip of root beer now. Go for it. Because I earned it. <laughs> you earned it by having everything already be correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so really this game, what, what kills it for me at a lot of times is that it's like the frass puzzle from Capu Cave right at the start. <laughs> Except it's right at the start, instead of halfway through. So we do have everything written down, right? Exhibit A needs to be the ham radio. The Maya okay. used dip Maya scribes. Maya in scribes? In addition to adorn the Maya ball game was no. ritualized blood. blood letting. The four miniature, four miniature gods, gods. The date on this slab. That's the calendar Strange one. By Cephalic Monster. Keep going. The Maya kings were off. I am Lord Pakal. Nope. Lady Zack. Did Cook? we go all uh, the way I around? I think so. Maya. We're pantheist. We did, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> Come on. Archaeologists. Okay, there it is. The wow, is I just needed to go. To the world. Okay. Okay, B is correct already. That's Maya um. Scribes recorded the I mean, we 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 checked yeah. it off, so I think it's right. Uh, C is bicephalic altar. I think that's eight. Archaeologists. Maya scribes. Now one more. The Maya used different. Try nine. In addition to adorning Ten? them, the Maya ball game. Eleven. Ritualized. <laughs> Twelve. The four miniature gods. 13. On this slab, 14. Strange, <laughs> Got it. Supernatural creature Bicephalic <laughs> monster. Uh, D is the numbering <laughs> exhibit. So that's the top one. There, right there, yeah. And this is right? Uh, no, strange, it's not right. We need to change it to uh, the numbering okay. exhibit. The Maya kings were off. No. I am Lord Pook. Lady Zack Cook. Keep going. The Maya were pe Ceramic no. bowl. Archaeologists work in. Although the geographic range of. The Maya use different methods. There it is. Mm -hmm. Seven is the numbering exhibit. E and F are both correct. Cool beans. Now we need a G, which is supposed to be about body shaping. The date on this. I should really start memorizing Strange these. Strange super. Mm -hmm. The Maya kings were. I am Lord. Lady oh. Zach. The Maya I really hope Nancy Sessling when we get this right. Ceramic bowl. I don't know if she does. Okay, well, G is body shaping anyhow. Work in some of the Although the geographic range of Maya. The Maya Did I go over it? Methods. You might have. Maya scribes. Maya scribes. In addition to adorning That's it. With okay, H and I are both good to go. Cool. J, however, is about the Rutherford slab. In addition to adorning them, it would not be the first jewel. one we're on. <laughs> the Maya ball game was a religious. Ritualized bloodletting was a common practice among no. them. 
The four miniature gods clinging to the What is it about? The, the Rutherford slab? There. Hunt, that Ahal, looks like it's in order. What? Of sacrificial dance. Chalk, shift, well, chalk. I'll take it, Nancy. I can't even interact with it anymore. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. It goes. If she says so. She's still talking. I don't know what. Get out of my head! <laughs> <laughs> Is Nancy schizophrenic? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. We still have not talked to Franklin Rose, have we? No, we haven't. Uh, but first, but first, but first. Let's um, let's just make sure we can check it off. Uh, get that one too. This one. Yes! I it's done. Check to see if it I'm is done. done with that. It's done. Oh, we, the rest we just of this game is just... have to do the numbering exhibit. The rest of this game is just gonna be non-stop fun now. Okay, I kinda wanna see... We owe Franklin Rose a call. Hey, wasn't there a... There was a piece of paper on the desk, though. Yeah, it wasn't... I didn't think it was anything important. Okay, just 555 1441. You can't actually type that in on your keyboard, can you? We have a number pad right here. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? I'd oh, like he's out of the to office. Franklin Rose, please. I'm sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of the office. Would Dude, you like to what is he back coming later? back? Sure. Thank you for calling Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. Okay, so that's on us that we forgot to call him, but really that must be terrifying for him to have hired a new deputy curator and then instantly a heist happens. Nancy, something's come up and I'll be gone for a bit. Your mission in the meantime, Run through the temple activities to verify that all questions can be answered. Yes, from Henry. We saw that. Okay. I think we might have seen that off camera. Oh, that could have been it. Okay. Apologies. Well, anyhow, let's go tackle this numbering exhibit. Or we could try to spell Nahuatl right this time. <laughs> uh, first I want to take a, a little look-see here. Do we even have all the number pieces I think we this? do. Just one more time. No? Wait. Um, we only have one on us. Well, wait a minute. I think I think we picked it up off screen, Jamie. Did we? Oh, I think you're right. Yeah. Okay, this was before we we ended up not saving. Okay. And that is um Is that 19? I th that kind of looks like it's I, 19. I think it was. The the one that looks like a lion. Also, people corrected me in the comments. There are in fact mountain lions in South America, so Here if, we go. If anything that might have been the influence. Okay, so the best way to do this, this one looks I think, like a text face. Like a bra. We, ha <laughs> we have Sonny's <laughs> notes to help us through this. Um, so, really, I think that, like, the first number would probably have a weird... It would probably be very simple. Hieroglyph one, actually. No, one has fish lips, a really big what? nose, and a set of good teeth. Okay, who's got fish lips? This dude? Maybe. Or this dude. A set of big teeth is another clue. Maybe we'll come back to that. Oh, uh, this this looks like fish lips. Mm, I can see that. We'll put it there for now. Okay, Sonny's notes say that two has a big hat with five fingers and a semi-oval in it. What? What? A big hat? A big hat. With five fingers? That one. That's what it is. It's, see, that's the hat, and it's five fingers on top, and then there's a semi-oval. Oh, yeah. Sonny, you're a menace. I hate you. Three looks like a doctor. This there he dude. is. Yeah, definitely that one. <laughs> uh, four has his or her tongue sticking out. Uh huh. Hmm. None of these have their tongues sticking out. Hey, wait a second. Out. That's not zero, is it? Does it begin with zero? Wait, is it one to twenty? Ch check to see if this is zero, quick, because I'm pretty. Yeah, that oh, the shell no. is zero. I just remember that the shell is zero. Oh my goodness. So just, good thing we caught that early. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 all look like the original numbers put with the removable jaw of Lahoon. 10, Lahoon looks like death. No nose, and there's a removable jaw. Who has no nose? Everybody has a nose. Is this it or something? Maybe. That might be it. How were mines like, yeah, this looks like 13 to me. <laughs> God, I don't know. Man, I can't even imagine a laptop with a floppy disk drive built into it. It just seems like an abomination of technology. That sounds awesome. It seems like those two things shouldn't have existed in the same era. <laughs> a bar with a dot next to it, 5 plus 1 equals 6, so 3 bars and a dot 16, yes, okay. Okay, so yes, bars are so five, bars are five. and dots are one. Mm -hmm. Here's the catch. If it doesn't look like exactly like a dot or bar, it doesn't count. Squigglies, ovals, incomplete dots, crooked bars, 
Chocolate bars, many stars, horseshoes, shamrocks, diamonds, half moons, scribbles, dribbles, none of these count. Also, the Maya often put decorative marks next to their numbers, so just ignore anything that's not a bar and or dot. I repeat, anything that doesn't look like a plain old dot or bar is out. Easy sleeping on the job, right? Not quite. Some gods also represent numbers. They're pretty tough to pick out at first, but they'll grow on you, just like mold on cheese. Thanks, Sonny. Jeez, Sonny. Some good rules of thumb. Okay, this is just not true, any of this. This is propaganda. <laughs> it's not descriptive enough. 12, clue. the clue for 12 is literally just Laka with question marks. That's the senior detective help. Thanks, senior detective. That okay. looks right. Oh, I'm a genius. I looked down at my phone to get another to get another reference, and goodness me, I'm a genius. You've done it. Let's go, let's go cross it off. I want the satisfaction of crossing it off, and we'll also call Franklin Rose and apologize for putting his entire museum namesake in jeopardy. Poor man. It actually was not that difficult. It was for me. It was like Roman numerals, but way worse. Roman numerals aren't bad. Okay, five 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 one four four one. Ta-da! It's done. It's complete. This game oh, instantly gets so much me. more exciting. Yeah. All right, Franklin. Bob please pick Jackson up. And Rose. He's not here. I'd like to speak to Franklin Rose, please. I think he's I'm done. Sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of the office. <laughs> Would you like to try back later? Sure. Thank you for calling Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. Franklin, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Okay, I guess we'll try to spell Nahuatl right then. Okay, yeah. I, I get the feeling that we were actually spelling Nahuatl right the first time, but the game was we stopping us. We weren't allowed us. to. Yeah, yeah that's what possible. I think. They wanted us to get that note from Henrik. Now we have everything. Okay. It's in the quiz in the left corner. Okay. Um, put the card in. Oh. Okay. Get ready to be schooled, ancient Mayan philosophers. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. What? Are you positive it's Nawadl? What else would it be? Mayan. I already tried that one. <laughs> I thought it was a trick question. Okay. I'm what gonna, is I'm just... the name of a modern Mayan language? Really, really quickly, I'm just going to search how to spell Nahuatl. Doesn't that mean snake or something? That's Coatl. As in Quetzal Coatl. Feathered serpent. Did you spell it right? I did. N A H U A T. Did you capitalize it? Oh my god, this is driving me crazy. Henrik! I think it's a different question, dude. It says a modern language. Go to go to languages okay. down there. Let's just where is the language exhibit? I, We're somewhere. actually using the museum exhibits. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'd like to learn. <laughs> Look for any Mayan words. Hurricane Sunny. This is so annoying. Okay, wait, it could be in there. No. Audio narration thingy is gonna be so much work. Yeah, it was Sunny. Thanks for half assing it and leaving it for us. Note the self must distract Joanna only after a coffee break. Uh, must go to justadventure.com. Big trouble now. Stinky cheese incident. Wow. You truly are just as useless as they say, Johnny Sunny G. <laughs> okay, <they're> Spanish. <laughs> Spanish originated in Spain, though. It's a European <laughs> language. I'm just kidding. Anything in here that can help us? English. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> Minecraft enchanting table language. If Henry Ladies and gentlemen, we've reached our first ever serious Henrik would stuff. know what to do. He this is his job to know these okay, things. Can we talk to Joanna for some reason? Tell her that all the tasks are done. Maybe. If she's even here. Okay, wow, she is. I did not expect her to be here. Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. Oh my god, I'm we never brought this up with her? Translation. What am I? I? Fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Can okay, you so what does it say? the language. I thought I was supposed to go to Henrik with all my glyph questions. The police showed me the note. It said, 
the magician suffers yellow death. Whatever okay. that means. Apparently, the thief just. But what language come up with does it say it in? The curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. What kind of death is yellow? I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis yes, on Yes, where it is in Henrik? Lab? I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Where do you think he could be? Who knows? Thanks, Joanna. Okay. Boss of the year. I don't think we've talked to the other people about the theft, though, have we? We haven't. Let's go to see what Taylor has to say. Since they both, you know, like, dropped major... Dude, this... What a building. Taylor Sinclair, fine arts and rare antiquities. It's a fiasco just <laughs> as I feared. Oh, I'm sick, sick, sick about the whole thing. I see you've spoken with Joanna. I was in the museum when it happened. What? Have no. Have you spoken to the police? I told them everything I know. I mean, I coughed up my brains right there on the table. <laughs> Getting some iconic Sinclair lines. So, do you think this is linked to the thefts in Topeka and New Mexico? That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka and on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? Do you know Prudence Rutherford personally? Oh, we saw each other at functions now and then. Poor Prudence. She adored that necklace. What's the name of the museum in New Mexico? The Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. They hey, had we've heard a that. beautiful collection up there worth a bundle, too. I appraised some pieces for them a few years back. Hmm. Oh, well, there's a lot we can talk to him about. The Bacall Thief's glyph message translates to The magician suffers yellow death. What in the world do you think that means? You've got me there. <laughs> Come on. His tie makes me want to puke. That is the yellow death, that tie. <laughs> Joanna says you performed an act of wizardry in helping Beach Hill acquire the Pakal carving. Getting those provenance docks together was a pig and a half. Oh, they're on the up and up, I assure you. But ah, uh, to have been at the height of my career back before the crackdown, those were the days. What crackdown? Maybe sometime I'll tell you a sad Jimmy. story I call How Mexico Lost Its Sense of Humor. <laughs> <laughs> when you sell so a piece mean. of art, That's what a, kind of commission do you line. get? Standard, 10%. It's no king's ransom, unless, of course, you sell something for a million bucks. Too bad I'm not allowed to put that monolith on the market, huh? Yes, Dude, too bad. 10% seems like a ton to me. Yeah, especially... For commission? I mean, some of these things, I, I'm sure, do go close to, ten, close to a million. Yes, but Alejandro... Alejandro says you're unethical, <laughs> mm, yes. a modern-day conquistador, that you're robbing Mexico of its cultural history. <laughs> and I say Alejandro is the real bully of the playground. A lunch money extortionist who loves nothing more than to see the other boys and girls go hungry. I'd better get wow. going. Jeez. Bye now. There's a lot of just toodles. Blatant hostility in this game. It's funny. Are we gonna go pay a visit to Alejandro now? That we are. Maybe he's got some insights on. Have we ever considered we can ask him? About the language? Yeah. Hello, Nancy. Do you know much about Maya glyphs? Oh my goodness, what if what if he's gonna like name drop it? Yeah, we... he's the descendant of Pakal. Why did Mexico <laughs> choose to lend the monolith to Beach Hill and not some other museum? Johanna Riggs outbid everyone. I had no idea a small museum like Beach Hill could afford such an expensive arrangement. Do you know much about Maya glyphs? You've got me there. I know Spanish, English, Portuguese, and several indigenous languages, including Quiche. Keychain! God! I knew it. Glyphs. Thank you, Alejandro! I knew he would have it. But now, look, no, no Hoddle's here too. Maybe now it accepts no Hoddle. Oh. We should check. Have you heard that the call carving was stolen from the museum? Th that's well, old I news, heard Alejandro. Our alarms going off, but it wasn't until Henry called me that I heard the news. You Wait, Henry You sound very concerned him? about all of this. Huh. I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire and I kept going. I'll need to alert the police so they can ask you some questions. I have diplomatic immunity, so I do <laughs> not have to answer any questions. But I will because I have nothing to hide. You know, it sounds a little... 
criminal when you bring up an accusation and your first defense is I have diplomatic community. I can I can shoplift the all the ancient artifacts I want. <laughs> that artifact was lost to me as soon as he'd left Mexican soil. So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. All right. All right, Kiche time. You might have just broke the case for us. You cracked the code, Alejandro. But uh, but first try try Nawaddle, cause I'm curious if it work if it works now. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my mind if it does, and the game was just making us wait, making us suffer. Dun 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 Okay. Last time, Palenque. <laughs> Zach Cook. Sulkin. No, you still don't. Eat Zomna. Okay, All try right. Nuadle. No, Huadl. Okay. Kiche. Thank wow. you. Wow. Okay, and it was the last question, too. Okay. 